Hey everybody, Mr. Morell here, here to talk to you about homework assignment 10.4. Now, uh, if you remember when talking about rotations in my class, we've talked about three different methods that you could use. The paper turning method, the L method, and uh, finally the slope method. And something else we talked about in class a lot is that whichever method works best for you, that's the one that you should use. And my guess is that about a third of you will be using the paper turning method, a third of you will be using the L method, and a third of you will be using the slope method if you know what it is. Um, it's kind of an advanced one that I chose not to talk about in class because it just can go over some people's heads. So uh, make sure that you are watching the video that best works with your method. And this one is the paper turning method. So if you like the paper turning method, stick around. If not, go back to my website and find the L method video and use that one instead. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, this is going to be kind of tricky because I have to record this using my phone with one hand while doing all these rotations with the other hand. So just bear with me. I'll do my best. We're going to be answering question number three to start off. And if you look closely, uh, questions one two, and three all have the same instructions, and in fact, they kind of look similar. So point A, A, and A are all in the same place, and then point B and B are in the same place, and then you have point C. So by answering question three, if you are watching carefully, I will also be answering questions one and two as we go. Okay, so here we go. Question three using the paper turning method. Um, we need to rotate this triangle 90 degrees clockwise around the point zero, 0. So with the paper turning method, it's as simple as it sounds. You turn the paper, and you just want to turn the paper the same way that you're turning your shape. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my paper 90 degrees clockwise around the point zero, 0. So we're going to turn the paper 90 degrees clockwise, which is going to look like this. Okay, now in the margins or wherever you want to write it, I don't care. You need to write down the ordered pairs as they look on here, pretending like this is your x-axis. No, I'm sorry, pretending like this is your y-axis and that this is your x-axis. So you've got to totally ignore these numbers for right now. Right now this is positive 5 for y, negative 5 for x, positive 5 for, well sorry, positive 5 for y, negative 5 for y, positive 5 for x and negative 5 for x. Okay, so just totally ignore the stuff that was written there before. And let's go ahead and write down the ordered pairs where we see the points now. So if we look at point A, where we see that now is at negative 2 and positive 3. Okay, so on my paper I'm going to write that A prime should end up at negative 2, positive 3. And then B is located at negative 3, 0. So B prime is going to be at negative 3, 0. And C is at negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so when you write down those ordered pairs, and there's a reason why I tried to write them this way, uh, we just turn our paper back, and we're going to plot those points. So we're going to find the point negative 2, 3, negative 2, 3, right here, that's where A prime is going to end up. And again, like I said, that's actually the answer to number one right there. Okay, for part B, I'm sorry, my phone is a little shaky. It's the morning. Okay, for point B, we find the point negative 3, 0, which is right there. And that's B prime. C prime, we find the point negative 1, negative 1, right there and there's C prime, and there we have our rotated triangle. Pretty easy, I think. Okay, here we go, number six, same idea with questions four, five, and six. So, we're gonna rotate the triangle 180 degrees around the point zero, zero. So go ahead and turn your paper 180 degrees, remember, that um, 180 degrees, there is no difference between the clockwise and the counterclockwise, so we just turn it. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and write our ordered pairs. Oh man, how do I write these upside down? You don't have to write them upside down, I'm just going to so that when we turn our paper back, it'll look okay. Alright, the point A 
right now is at the point 3, 2, okay, over 3, up 2. So 3, I practiced writing upside down just for this moment. Okay, point B is at the point 0, 3. So B prime is going to be at the point 0, 3. And C is at the point negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1. Okay, so you write down those points. I wouldn't expect you to write them upside down, obviously. I just don't want to be turning the paper a lot and making you dizzy. Okay, turn your paper back the other way. And let's go ahead and plot those points. So point A is at 3, 2, right here. Point B is at 0, 3. And C, and I meant to be saying A prime, B prime, and C prime. C prime is at negative 1, 1, right there. And there's our triangle. <coughs> Okay, let's go ahead and look at question 7 now. Question 7 wants us to turn, uh, rotate the triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise around point A. Now, the point where paper turning becomes a lot trickier than the L method is when we're rotating around points that are not the point zero, 0. So that's going to be what's happening here. We have to add an extra couple of steps to this. So. What you usually do, um, I'm going to recommend getting a colored pen or a colored pencil or a crayon or something. I have kind of a colored pencil thing happening here. Um, you want to find that point that you're rotating around and put that in color. So in this example, we're rotating around point A like that. Then you also want to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line that goes through that point. So it looks something like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn our paper following the direction, so 90 degrees counterclockwise. We're going to turn it like that. Now in class, I gave my students a worksheet where it had a place for you to write down your fake ordered pairs and your real ordered pairs. So actually, why don't I go ahead and kind of set that up for you. We've got fake, we're going to have A prime, B prime, and C prime. And then we're going to also have some real ordered pairs, A prime, B prime, and C prime. And I'll tell you what that means here in a minute. Okay? But for now, we turn our paper like that. And under the fake ordered pairs right here, we're going to write down where each of these points are as if this point right here were 0, 0. So totally ignoring these lines like that. This is our new y-axis and our new x-axis, and this is the point zero, zero right there. And we're going to write down some fake ordered pairs. So point A, as you can see, is right in the new origin. So A prime is going to be at the point zero, zero. Okay, because that's where it is on our fake axis. All right, point B, the fake one, is going to be at the point 1, 3. So let's write that down here as a fake point, 1, 3. And then point C is at the point negative 1, 4. Like that. Okay, so once you have the fake ordered pairs written down, we're going to go ahead and turn our paper back the normal way. And then still pretending that this is the point zero, 0, we're going to plot these points over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start plotting those points. Point A, or A prime, is going to stay right where it is. That happens when you rotate around a point. That is the point that you're rotating. B prime is at the point 1, 3. So 1, 1, 2, 3, right here. And C prime is at the point negative 1, 4. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 is right here. And we go ahead and draw our triangle in. 
Okay, now let's talk about the real points really fast because this is going to be on your test even though it's not on this worksheet. These points that we listed here were not the real points according to this grid. So just take a second and write down the real points according to this grid right here. So if this was 0, 0, point A prime is really at negative 3, 2. Point B prime is really at negative 2, 1. And point C prime is really at the point negative 4, 2. Because my guess is on the test we're going to have you typing in ordered pairs into your clickers. And so you want to be giving me these points here, not these points. Those ones are fake. All right, let's go ahead and try again with question 11. With question 11, we need to rotate triangle ABC. Oh, no, sorry. Before we do that, let's go to question 9. Let's rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise around the point 1, 1. So again, we're going to label point 1, 1 right there with our color. I'm going to draw a vertical line through that point and a horizontal line through that point like that. Okay. And then we're going to rotate our paper 90 degrees clockwise around that point. Okay, so 90 degrees clockwise is going to be like this. But also let me take a second and set up my fake and real points. Fake, A prime, B prime, C prime. Real, A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, turn the paper. 90 degrees clockwise, and let's to write down our fake A prime. Fake A prime is at negative 1, 2, 3. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 3, 4. Negative 3, 4. Okay. Point fake B prime is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 1. Negative 4, 1. And fake C prime is at negative 2, 0. Okay, so once you have all of your points written down, then you turn your paper back the normal way. And using the fake axes, we're going to go ahead and plot the fake, well, the, the real points, but using these uh, coordinates right here, and that being 0, 0. Okay, so point... Uh, a prime is going to be starting here, negative 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. A prime goes right there. Then B prime is negative 4, 1. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 puts it right there. Then negative 2, 1, negative 2, 0 is right here. Okay, it look, should look something like that. Now let's just go ahead and quickly, just because it's good practice, writing down the real ordered pairs, ignoring these blue lines, and just going back to this being 0, 0. If this is 0, 0, point A is at the point negative 2, 5. Okay, point B is at negative 3, 2. And point C is at negative 1, 1. All right, let's go to question 11. That's the last one that I'll be answering today. Question 11. Sorry, my hand is getting a little crampy. Uh, okay, there we go. We're almost there. Rotate the triangle 180 degrees around point C. So once again, take your color, label point C. Draw a line up and down through that point and across through that point. Okay, let me take a second and label my fake ones and my real ones. And let's turn our paper 180 degrees. Okay, now my fake A right now, with this being 0, 0, is at the point 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 1. 4, 1. Okay. 
fake b prime with this being 0, 0 is at 1, 2. Fake c prime is at 0, 0. Okay, now we go ahead, put our paper back the normal way, and graph the fake points using the blue lines. So starting right here, the point 4, 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, puts A prime right there. To plot B prime, the point 1, 2, with that being 0, 0, you go over 1, up 2. Sorry, oh man, my hand is just cramping. Okay, B prime. And the points. C prime will stay at 0, 0, like that. And you can draw in your triangle. And really quickly, just because it's good practice for the tests, we'll write down the real ordered pair. So with this being 0, 0, A prime is at the point 5, 0. B prime is at the point two one. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, and C prime is at the point one negative one. Woo. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give my hand a break. I hope you guys are able to answer those three questions on the back. If you watch this whole video, that's pretty much all you have to do. And good luck. Let me know if you have any questions when you see me in class. Okay, bye.